Previously on Reaper. Before you were born, your mom and I sold your soul to the devil. I'm the devil! <laughs> You're just gonna bring escaped souls back to hell, you know, like a bounty hunter. You can tell Andy? No, I'm not gonna tell Andy. If she knows, she'll think I'm a freak. She'll never go out with me. You can make her go out with you, Dale. Sam, I like you. I love working with you guys. And how am I supposed to capture him? I... This will help. A vessel, handcrafted in the bowels of perdition by the iniquitous and the vile. How do you capture a soul with it? Maybe you drive it into the guy, right? You finally found the one thing that you're good at. You kicked ass, we kicked ass. <laughs> I need a bite of that. No, no, I need you to feed it to me. What? I'm starving, okay? Everything I put in my mouth ends up covered in bugs. Oh, feed nice. me, come on. No oh, bugs, huh? I think that's the work of uh, El Diablo. It must be. Time to collect a soul to escape from hell. I wish the devil would do it in a less disgusting way. Hmm. All right, come on. Open up, baby bird. Mm -hmm. come on. Tilt it back. Get it, get up real quick. <laughs> no, please, continue. Very romantic, actually. No, yeah. no it, my hands are dirty. So. No. Sam, what time are you off work tonight? Seven. Why? This is a primate lecture on campus tonight. I'm bringing in a low-land gorilla expert. I could use your company. Really? I mean, I just figured we can get a cup of coffee afterwards with some people in class. So, what do you say? You mean the monkeys? Um, yeah, well, actually, uh, uh, Sock and I made plans to hang out, so... Yeah. Yes, uh, we're gonna go donate bone marrow to the needy at the convention. You guys are so weird. <laughs> Try. Bone marrow. Pardon me, idiot, but I think Andy just asked you out on a date. No, it wasn't a date, okay? It was a lecture, uh, and I don't want to spend the evening feeling stupid in front of the college friends. Whatever, man. She was all up in your grill piece, and you told her to take a hike. Good no, job. It's not a good time to start something with Andy, all right? It's just... I'm sorry, I didn't realize you had such a full calendar right now. My life is complicated, okay? If we actually went on a date, it'd be a total disaster. You know what? I'm sick of that old song and dance, okay? My name's Sam. I gather shopping carts for a living. I collect souls for the devil. Boo-hoo. Zero pity. You're gonna have to do better than that. Well, see, now I think that's cool. Aimless, lacking purpose. Believe me, I can relate. I wasn't always a manager. I had to earn it. And I had to shake off some serious addiction issues before I found direction in my life. You were addicted to drugs? Gambling. And shoes. Lots of shoes. The point is, Sam, is that I turned my life around. And there's still hope for you. Hope in the form Toilets. Toilets. For 2,000 years, people have been using these porcelain thrones, and they're going to be using them for another 2,000. Um, yeah, I just have no interest in selling toilets, so... I see a spark of the old me in you, you know that? Please don't tell me that, Ted. And that's why I am prepared to promote you assistant manager of the plumbing department. What do you think of them apples? I think I want to stab myself. Sorry? What? I'm showing you a lifeline here, Sam. I suggest you take it. 
Yeah, it's just my destiny does not include spending the rest of my life at the workbench. You know, I have plans to do something with my life. Doing something with your life, Sam, requires skills. And the only overt skills I see from you is tardiness and general ineptitude. Lifeline, Sam. Think about it, okay? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? This is really nice. Much roomier than it looks. Why, you could live in there. Finally get out of your parents' house, huh, Sam? Eh, give me the vessel. No, 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 no. I do not like this tone at all. What's the problem? Ted wants to promote me to assistant manager of the plumbing department. Promotion? Well, congratulations. Make sure you get the 401k. No, no, don't congratulate me. He's saying that I'm going to spend the rest of my life here at the workbench. You know, I don't get you, Sammy. You don't want to work here at this place. You don't want to work for me. What exactly do you want? Just something that doesn't suck. Well, one of these days, maybe you'll come up with a little better plan than that, huh? Uh, I, I brought this for you. Is this the vessel? No, I just want to communicate with you on your level, buddy. Go ahead, give it a gander. Oh, man, what are you showing me? That's Harriet Svensson, 62. Her death was attributed to anaphylactic shock. Keep going. Lois Johnson, 59. She caught the West Nile virus. Fiona Beecham, 65. She was done in by a nasty infection from a bite. Oh, sorry. That's me at the Emmys. All right, so let me guess. They were all killed by bugs. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I can't tell you this. All the deaths occurred in the last two months. That, that's it? That's all you're gonna tell me? Oh, come on. Aren't you gonna at least thank me for the visual presentation? You know, how cool was that? It just doesn't help me. Wait, I, I need more help. Follow the bugs, buddy. What does that mean? You didn't give me the vessel. <sighs> Thanks. Yes. Ted offered me a job today. Assistant manager of plumbing. Oh, I see. I'm not taking it. No, no, you know what? Go ahead, take your little job, Mr. Man. When are you gonna tell us? I'm not gonna take it. I'm not taking it. I'm probably not taking it. Probably, probably not gonna take it. Well, guess what? I'm probably not gonna feed management french fries. Why are you so pissed off about this? It wasn't my Why? idea. Why do you, yeah, why do you care? Maybe if you didn't have your lips permanently sealed to Ted's anus like a ass gasket, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place, okay? Come on. God. You're angry today, man. A little bit. I want a salad. Uh, no. Sorry, I'm not gonna order you a salad, man. That's a chick order. I want a salad. You're not getting a salad. We always do this. Do what? Do what? Do this. I don't understand. Why do you always order a salad? Yes, I don't know. I You're getting the chicken midgets. Like... Fine. You have a side salad, okay? You can have a side salad. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, guys, look. Devil said follow the bugs. Go, 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 go! Murder! Swarming with bugs. They're everywhere. Call the public works in on this one. They're gonna have to fumigate the whole complex. What do we do? I don't know. It looks the best at the bench. What? We were getting food. I didn't think we'd need it. It's not exactly management thinking, is it, Sam? All right. Look, look. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck.
he's not the escaped soul. on you. They got in my pants, Sam. In my pants! I know, I know. They got everywhere. So the soul is in the apartment complex. Makes sense. The exterminator tried to kill the bugs, so the soul made the bugs kill him. Okay, but the problem is there's a dozen houses in there, so where does the soul live? Oh. Sock, bees are not nesting in your crotch. What are you doing? Ugh. I thought these might help us find out where the soul lives. You stole mail? Yeah. Sock, that's a felony. Well, come on now, there's a fine line between a felony and, and doing something really super cool. That's true. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rooster in the doghouse, funny. Huh? Andy's cozying up to a tie rack over there. Who's that? Oh, I've never seen him before. I know who that is. It's some college punk she met at that monkey thing that you wussed out on. Now she's getting married, and it's all your fault. She's not getting married. Just take the mail in the back before you get arrested. I'll be right back. If you showed up more often, as if you don't party all the time. Rarely. That's what people do in college. They no. party. Yes. Hey, Sam. Uh, this is Greg. Greg, this is Sam. Hey, good to meet you, Sam. He was dropping off my jacket because I left it at the lecture last night. Oh, you guys, you guys go to school together. Mm. We just met last night. Though I'm hoping to see her more often. He's uh, just trying to convince me to go to school full time, which I think is absolutely crazy. I, I don't see why. Okay, do you realize how smart she is? Yeah, yeah, she's totally smart. Uh, okay, look, even then, I'd have to work, and there's just really no time to study, so... You'd have to quit this job. Quit? Well, what do you think about me going back to college, Sam? Well, you know, I don't know. You, you go to school, and you get all in debt, and then, you know, you graduate, and then you have to get a job to pay off all your loans, so you're right back at the bench where you started, so to speak. I mean, or you could get a career, you know, a salary, a, a job with the future. There, there's a future here in, uh, uh, toilets. Toilets, you know, everybody needs a toilet. You know, I'm not knocking you, Sam. I, I'm just saying Andy can be so much more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I need to head out. <laughs> Nice meeting you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I have Jobitz calling my name, so I will talk to you later. All right. What am I supposed to do? Well, you read slow. Hey, hey, how'd it go with the Captain Laptop? He's trying to convince Annie to go back to college full time and quit the bench. Who the hell does this guy think he is? I mean, no, I don't think she's gonna do it. It's too much for her. I'm sure. I'm sure she'll stay here. It's a passing thing. It'll be fine. Did you guys find anything? Uh, well, for starters, Miss Marjorie Platt from apartment two A is a county Reeves freak. Another one. The lake house. God. <laughs> Thank me later, Margie. Well, everybody seems normal. No weird bug fetishes, no satanic magazine subscriptions. This guy's mail is forwarded from an old address. Harold Bunsen. Harold. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. I have his gas bill right here, and it says his service started two months ago. Right around the time of the first murder. Could be him. I know how we can find out for sure. Joseph's out to lunch. We use our computer. We're on our merry way. Nobody knows nothing. You stole keys to her office? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I kept a couple after we broke up for emergencies only. And for uh, naps at her apartment when she's not there. Great. We need a password. Oh, uh, try, uh, try Grumpy. It's a little pet name we had for, uh... I don't want to know. The cat that we had, you sicko. God. No, I'm just kidding. It was totally a name for my junk. It actually worked. Keep an eye for Josie. I want to see if Bunsen committed any crimes. Okay, we'll do. Don't you, uh, don't you want to know why we called it Grumpy? I do not. No, thank you. Come on, suit yourself. Hey. Hey, man. Uh -huh. Hi, how you doing? Having fun being hot? I am. <laughs> I 
I just started. <laughs> oh my God, you are a stalker. Wow, what are you doing here? That's so, that's so weird. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, who's this guy? My boss. He prosecutes criminals. Mm. Daniel Schofield, district attorney. Bert Wysocki, king of beers. <laughs> we'll pick this up later, Justin. Awesome. See you later. Banging the boss, huh? Good choice, big shot. I am not banging my boss. Really? Maybe you should. Might get a little promotion out of it. Get out of here, Zach. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, wait, Josie, Josie. Uh, I, 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 wait, I do, I do have something important that I need to tell you, okay? Uh, this is hard. I, I have the cancer. What? Yeah, I don't have cancer. I'm sorry. I, I had a dream about having cancer, and you were the first person that I thought of when I woke up. I thought that had to mean something, you know? Right? There's something really wrong with you. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm gonna go take care of that right now, okay? I just wanted you to know it means a lot to me that you still care. Never come here again. Okay. Uh. Listen to this police report. Back in the 60s, Bunsen was the prime suspect in the murder of his wife. How did he kill her? No cause of death could be determined. They never had enough evidence to charge him. It says here that Bunsen disappeared in 72. Must have been when he died and went to hell. But why come back to kill some old ladies? Oh. I know why it's bugs. Why? They found Bunsen's wife in a compost heap completely devoured by bugs. Oh. oh, God. Can we just skip this one? You know, just let it slide, tell the devil we couldn't find him? Can we do that? Let's get the vessel, see how hard it's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. How am I supposed to catch a soul with this? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it has to be plugged in. I'm gonna catch it wherever there's an electrical outlet? Well, that's why the workbench saves the day. All right, let's find us an outlet. Oh, laundry room's that way. I bet we can plug in there. I'll do some recon here. Okay. My fault.
Okay, so we know where the soul is. As soon as Ben fixes the vessel, we go back and we nail him. Sam, I want you to understand something, okay? This guy controls bugs. I know. That's why we have to stop him so he doesn't do it again. Bugs, Sam. Bugs that kill people, all right? I'm sorry, I'm out. Look, you guys don't have to do this, okay? This is my deal. If it's too much, I, I understand. <sighs> I think I found a problem. There's a short. And this thing was never gonna work right anyway. Why am I not surprised? Can you fix it? Of course. You just have to order the parts, which would take a day, and you and me could send this guy back to hell in a toaster. Actually, let me take care of this one on my own, Benji. I don't want you to get hurt again. Sam Oliver and Andy Printergast report to the manager's office. Sam Oliver and Andy Printergast, manager's office. You sure, Sam? Positive. I can totally handle this. Kiss ass. Coward. Hey, what does Ted want to see us for? I don't know, maybe he's lonely. Okay. It's been exactly 24 hours since I've offered you a tremendous career advancement opportunity here at the bench. And your answer is? I don't want the assistant manager job, Ted. Thank you, but no. That is a bad decision on your part. But good for you, Andy. Congratulations. You are the new assistant manager of the plumbing department. What? Your training begins immediately. Wait, no, 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 I, I really don't want that job. God, no. It's a big decision. I don't need your answer right now. No, you have my answer. I, no, thank you. you. Tell me next week. I'm not gonna be here next week. What do you mean? Um, I'm taking classes, prerequisites for college next semester. I was thinking of a way to tell you. Wait, wait, you're leaving? I'm, I'm really sorry. Awkward for both of you. Almost for all, all three of us, actually, since, because I'm right here when it happened, Ted. See, this still does not compute for me. Growing up? <laughs> Hilarious. No, I am grown up, Josie, okay? I can drink and I can vote. When the hell have you ever voted? Unimportant. Look, yay, yes. We're all very happy for Andy, but could someone please explain to me the attraction to college? Yeah, because I want a career one day, not just a job. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't understand that. Okay, well, I'm never going to buy a house off of workbench wages, ever. I have a house. It's your mom's house. <laughs> no, but I but I live in it, okay? And somebody pays the bills, somebody cooks the food, and somebody does the laundry. So I put it to you guys, the table. Great life or the greatest life? You are leeching off your mom, and you are actually defending it. She's a mom, Josie. She likes it. It's awesome for her. Andy, do not listen to these morons. I think that going back to school is the best decision you made since the last time you said you'd do it. And this time, it is going to stick. All right. Andy, I'm happy for you. I think you're going to do great. I'm going to miss you, and you're going to do amazing in college. Thank you, Ben. I hate you so much right now. I got to, um, I'll be right back. So what are we doing, Sam? I know, I know, there were some technical difficulties with the vessel, but I'm gonna snag the escape soul tomorrow. Now, I'm talking about you being such a buzzkill. What's the problem? Uh, Andy's leaving again, probably for good. Oh. So you're just gonna whine in your light beer. No wonder she's bailing. Okay, are we done, or do you need to keep riding my ass? You know, Sam, sometimes I just don't understand you. You know, it'd be one thing for you to blow off your bounty hunter duties to get the girl, but you're not even doing that. You're embarrassing me. What do you want me to do? Get the girl, get the soul, I don't care which, man. Just pull that trigger. I'm tired of coddling you. You call what you put me through coddling? Oh, Sam. You have no idea.
not me. I didn't kill anyone. It's her. She's back. Ooh, Gloria. She's so jealous, so protective. She killed my wife. And that uh, exterminator guy, I, I told him to stay away. And the three old ladies. Fiona something, um, Harriet, Lois. They're all dead? Yeah. But I only talk to them. Gloria's killing anyone she thinks she's got in between us. You just stay away. She'll kill you, too. She's everywhere. She sees everything. Everything. That bug spray sucks ass. Really? Yeah, really. My old grandmother could kill more bugs than that stuff. <clears throat> Try the red one. Yeah, that's a good one. Go with that. <clears throat> you get kind of heavy carrying all that stuff around, don't you think? Just a little. Hey, careful, careful with the bug bombs, all right? You don't want to mess around and blow the place up. I do not. You know why I can't go with you, right? Yeah. I, I understand. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All settled. Good to know. Sam, no, 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 whoa, no, no, no. God, it's like you don't know anything sometimes. A fog machine? How are you gonna see? You're gonna suffocate, stupid. Unless you get a gas mask, that'll work. Right here. Good thing we sell these. Let's put that little bit up there. Don't forget the uh, old toaster. Oh, yeah. And I uh, definitely need two of these. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'll strap this on your back. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, Dad, honestly, it's like you are a child sometimes, Sam. Sock, do you want to come with me to capture the soul? Okay. So, are we gonna pay for this stuff? Uh, define pay. Like, pay money. Oh, no, no, no. What? what do you mean? We're not gonna pay. Excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Fine. Andy, hey. Hey. What's wrong? I think I'm screwed. Why? Listen to this. Statistical analysis. Topics include probability, binomial and normal distributions, two sample hypothesis tests for means and proportions, applied combinative something, discrete and continuous random variables, and simple linear regression. <laughs> yeah, I think my brain just broke a little. Yeah, I have to take this course, and I can't even figure out what the course description means. So, am, I, am I making a huge mistake by going to college full-time? Honestly. Um, you know, that's not really something I can answer. <sighs> Look, because I tried it before, and I left. Look, you can do this, Andy. This is nothing. I don't know. I do. Take the hard classes, and then take some of the easy stuff, like, uh, badminton. <laughs> I suck at diamond too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> You're just freaking yourself out. It's a big change and, you know, I've had your life on hold ever since, you know, your dad died. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's time that I move on. 
workbench. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this afternoon and sign up for classes. I can't believe it. We'll go plug in. How you getting in Bunce's place? I don't know. I guess kick the door down or something. Yeah. Be careful. Right. Don't break your ankle. Thanks. Smells like feet. You get the best of the Sam. We'll feed you the cord, right? Got it. Go, 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 go. Go! Scared me. <laughs> who are you? I'm uh, I'm uh, Bert Wysocki, but uh, everyone just calls me Sock. I like, guess because I fit like a glove, you know. Plugging in. Hmm? Oh, that's uh it's technical. I don't I don't want to bore you with the details. What's uh what's your name? No, okay, look, 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 look. All right, look, I was just trying not to scare you there before. It's about to get pretty darn real out there. I think you should stay with me, I'll protect you. Was something bad about to happen? Well, I wouldn't say bad so much as uh badass. About to squash a few bugs, know what I mean? Dead. Yeah. I was thinking maybe after that we could uh, go grab a drink together, share a couple laughs, maybe uh, launder some soiled clothing. Got a little something on here. Never mind, looks like you got it. Sam, Sam, Sam! Keep it on the cool tip. She knows I'm allergic to bees. How does she know that? We came up in conversation, okay? Drop the toaster, or your friend chokes to death on his swollen tongue. Actually, it's more of a hives thing in my eyes. Sam, Sam! Oh, just, Sam. just let him go! No one comes between Harold and me. Not even the devil himself. Let him go, Gloria. It's enough already. You can't just go around killing everybody you think is coming between us. Harold, they're trying to send me back. You don't want that. Do you? Yeah, I do. I never actually loved you, Gloria. What? I'm sorry, I know I told you I did. But I was really into it for the sex. We had was a fling, nothing more. It's working, but it's not working. When I realized you killed my wife, uh, I uh, felt like I had to stay with you. But it was more fear than love. It was all fear, actually. I'm sorry. Oh! I went to hell for you. It's a bug zapper. Bugs devoured me every moment. We broke it when we fixed it. I am sorry. Don't be. Because I'm taking you with me when I go back.
Hey, hey, Broham. Never tell Crazy that you're in it for the sex. No, all I'm saying is that I feel bad for the guy. I'd still do that chick. Gloria? She almost killed you. I know. Makes me wonder more. The guy could have ended this whole thing if he would just told Gloria the truth. Instead, all those people died, and he lived a miserable life. Yeah, you're right. About what? I don't want to be miserable my whole life. Here, turn this in for me. Where are you going? Andy left for college once, and I never say anything. The devil's right. I just stare at her like an idiot and wait for something to happen. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, keys! Hey. 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 What are you doing here? Um, I, I, I just wanted to see you to uh, tell you something. Oh. Okay, well, here I am. I mean, what do you want to tell me? Um, look, I, I was just thinking, you know, when I heard you were going to quit the bench, Look, I, I just really hate the idea of not working with you anymore, you know? And, and but, but I think it's cool that you want to go to school. I'm not going to school anymore, Sam. Classes were canceled for the whole semester. Wait, why? Asbestos. Someone called into the state and reported that the building is filled with it. And they shut the whole department down. Weird, huh? Yeah, that's... Really, um, really weird. Yeah. Andy, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know how important this is to you. You know how I feel about it? Oh. Relieved. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm not ready for all this. You know, college, classes. You know, I, I came back to the workbench because I wanted everything to be normal again. I, I just really wanted everything to be the way that it used to be. I, I realize that sounds crazy. No, I, I totally get it. I mean, I'll go back one day. You know, I'll be ready to change everything, just not now. Right now, I really need my life to stay exactly the same. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you could go back, too. <laughs> You're not going to hang on toilets wherever. <laughs> yes, I, I could go back. But uh, for now, nothing changes. Right. For now. Thank you.